Okay, hi guys, thanks for tuning to my channel. This is Savannah. So, last night I let some oil soak on my hair, um, on my scalp, around my hairline. I don't know if you guys remember, I told y'all I recently had to do another big job. I posted that video and I had just lost my hairline. Like, it was like my hairline was receding, but it was just like this whole row. My edges were gone, but they are definitely, they are definitely filling back in. Definitely filling back in. Oh my gosh. So what, I, what I've been doing is using rosemary oil, which I did talk about this. And I just have different oils. Um, I'll add peppermint oil to give it that little zing, that tingling sensation. I have some oregano oil tea tree and what is this one red thyme oil really really good so i don't use all of those all the time i definitely always use the rosemary and then one or two of the other ones and just concentrate it on my scalp all over my scalp but particularly around my edges and just soak it in there just let it sit overnight when i know i'm about to wash my hair i'll do that at night and so the smell is really really bad <clears throat> it's strong so it gets on my pillowcases so <laughs> i'm washing my pillowcases <clears throat> and then i have to wash this because it like i said the smell is really bad and i use a lot of it and just so i do that once a week and i've been doing it for like three weeks and my hairline is coming back i love it um, another thing that I'm doing with my hair is I was doing rice water rinses and you can YouTube that it's all over YouTube on how to do a rice water rinse and the benefits. What it did for me was it stopped my shedding in its tracks, just stopped it. So my hair wasn't shedding anymore. The thing that I didn't, I'm not going to continue. I'm going to use it maybe every once in a while, but you have to rinse it out. So I learned about clove water and clove water you don't have to rinse out. So got a bag of clothes and these are just, this is the regular clothes that you can find at the grocery store. It's a spice. Most people, you know, like use it with their hand, put it in their ham or something like that. It looks like this, like regular clothes, regular, regular clothes. And just put two tablespoons of cloves in a container, a cup of water. And I've been letting this ferment for like, I don't know, maybe three days, two or three days. I can't even remember. And then transfer in a spray bottle. And then you can just spray your hair. And there's so many different things you can do. I've seen people when they, um, and you can boil it to get it to this consistency too but i like to ferment it but i've seen people put it in a blender add it to their butters and make a, a leave-in or a buttercream all kinds of stuff cloves is very very good for your hair and it helps them keep your hair moisturized so that's why i love it so i'm gonna transfer it into a spray bottle oh and another oil that i've been using and i use this after i wash my hair after I wash it and stuff, it's castor oil. Love, love, love castor oil. But, um, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm about to go wash and deep condition my hair. And I could rinse my hair with the water. I put it in a spray bottle. But after I deep condition, I'm gonna just saturate it with this. And I can use this probably two or three times. But within the week, within the week. And then I'll just put some more cloves in here and start it over and so that way it could, the next batch will be fermenting. I'm gonna always do that for a while. My hair is thriving and I need to color it, but um, I'm just trying to get my hair back to a healthy state before I put anything on it. And my goal is not to grow my hair back out. My goal is to Hopefully, it fills back in and thickens back up. 
So I'm definitely doing a really, really good job taking care of it. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so my hair is freshly washed and I have the deep conditioner on there. And um, I use this to wash it. But I use this line, the uh, Jamaican black castor oil line to condition it. I have the conditioner to this, but I'm about out of it. So, my hair detangles like butter. And so what I'm going to do, because you can just use this for all kinds of stuff, and I'm going to put it on with my conditioner. And then I'm going to also put it on um, afterwards, like rinse it with it. And the clothes just have so many benefits. To your for your hair strengthening your hair is good for dandruff which i don't suffer with dandruff um it just helps promote um hair growth for me hopefully thickening of my the thickening of my hair because i'm gonna go get another haircut soon because it's been has it been a month yet yeah it's been a month i have not used my clippers yet you guys for those of you we saw that video where I bought my own hair trimmers to try to keep the back trimmed up. I haven't used it yet. I'm scared. <laughs> so anyway, just saturating that on my hair. I'm gonna cover it with a bag. Hair is dripping wet. I could sit under the dryer, but I'm not. I'm going to just do some stuff around the house. Clean up and got some laundry to put away. I'm going to do all that. And then, then I'll rinse this out. I'll be back. Yeah, my hair feels so good. Oh my goodness. I'm going to add some leave-in conditioner. This is the Miele Pomegranate Honey. more clothes spray. This time, of course, it stays in. So during the week, when I do my co-washes, I don't always do a deep conditioner. Just a quick co-wash. But on you know wash day when I when I'm using shampoo, then I will deep condition it or whatever. So my hair gets co-washed a couple times a week and washed once a week. I use those oils um, a couple times during the week, treating my my edges. So I got that pretty saturated, pretty good. 
There's a fly in here. I just love just letting it soak in my on my hairline. Um, one of the things that that those oils do, they get into your skin, into your your system. Because even after I wash my hair and rinse it, I can still smell it. Just not as strong. So then, last step. A lot of steps, but it's nothing but total goodness. Castor oil, I just take a little bit. Like a dime size. To just seal all that moisture. That yummy moisture in. And so you guys know I was playing around with a couple of new stylers. I have bought the Aunt Jackie's Curl Balls. I ended up sending that to somebody. I gave it away. And then I tried. Which one did I try? I tried because I already had this. The Miele Curling Custard. I don't like this either. But it's, it's over half gone. So my favorite is still Eco Styler Gel. These are the two greases that I use, Blue Magic and Sulfur Aid. I concentrate this on my edges. And what, I was watching a YouTube video and I saw this girl, saw a couple videos where um, they use, and I must have tried this years ago. This is the S Curl curling wave gel activator anti-frizz with olive oil and argon oil paraben free i tried this a couple of times underneath my um eco i think they use a different gel the videos i watched but um i like it i definitely like it so what i'm going to quickly do is just show you guys how I use it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna twist my hair all up on camera. So I just take a little bit, oops. <laughs> take a little bit of this. And then just and it, what it does is just keeps my curls moisturized. Really nice buttery moisturized feeling i love it and then i use my eco on top of it and i have been enjoying doing just the finger coils so I'm not even taking time to do a two strand twist just coil it up is so much quicker. So much quicker. I did that one in the wrong direction. Sometimes it don't, for me, it don't matter which direction. I just, it all blends together. You see how quick that little section was? I'll do this section at the top. And I just grab here, don't matter. Go in with the escrow geo. About that much. And I'm going to just let this air dry. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. If I go anywhere at all. 
and that's it and i'm gonna twist the rest and then i'll be back once it's completely dry okay so i'm done it's not dry at all i um i sealed my end my edges with um that sulfur eight and usually i'll take the time to grease my scalp i didn't do that today so that literally took me like 12 minutes it was under 15 minutes so real quick process it feels amazing and i don't need to take this down today even after it dries i'm not like i said i don't think i'm going anywhere so i'll be back in the morning all right okay you guys i'm back i'm just taking down my coils my hair is not all the way dry but it's mostly dry um It's mostly dry. I wasn't planning on going anywhere, but um, my cousins wants to, they want to get together and make tacos tonight. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and this is when I would just put on a baseball cap, right? But I'm trying to get out of that. By just taking the time to style my hair out. I'm gonna dye my hair soon. Like I said, I'm just waiting for it to, till I feel safe, till I feel it's a safe time. Probably the next month, a few weeks. And it don't even matter when I dye it or put a rinse on it. Them grays around my edges pop back out so fast. Cause hair, cause every hair that grows in is gray now, right? So, and I already did the sponge. I don't have to do that. I don't know if y'all can see that, but this sponge really helps get those curls in formation. Okay, let me try to... Oh, and somebody said that I should put a part in it. I can't remember which one of you said that. And I actually did that when I read your comment. I did that one day last week. Style it like that, something like that. This is day one here. My hair is not all the way dry, so it's looking a little frizzy. I don't know, I can't get that part to stay. Yeah, my hair, it's, it's just so, um, it's wet in the middle. This part right here has thickened up so much. Oh, we. So, yeah, it's not dry, but that's okay. So, tonight I, I will retwist it back up. I don't know about the part. It looked cute last week when I did it. I just gotta keep playing around with the shape and I do need to get it cut again already. Make sure it stays in shape. I don't got my mirror up here to check that back. Close up those parts. That's cute. I mean, it's definitely frizzy. That part, because, you know, it, that's a space, because, you know, that has to grow in. But I'm good with that. It feels, whew, it feels so good. It just feels so good. So the combination of that S curl, this right here, y'all, and that um clove spray oh my that clove water man it's a game changer on the health of my hair that well uh, the clove water for the health of my hair and that s curl for the way it feels and 
if it was all the way dry, them, them braids is just popping. And it's no big deal, okay, with the gray hair, but I ain't ready for that. I love it. Love the way it feels. This texture on the back of my hair is way different than the, than the rest of my hair. And this up here is even different, more different. It's the 4C is really sitting right here. Whew. And kind of in the front too. But anyway, I like it. It's gonna look better tomorrow because I'm gonna retwist it and it'll be completely dry then. But you see, I do got a little part. Got it sectioned off. I like it. And my hands are, they're greasy because my hair is so moisturized. All that, all those oils on there. That castor oil and that sulfur eight grit. It just, I just love it. All right, y'all, that's it. I'm going to end this video. I don't think I'm going to record Taco Tuesday night. Um, just enjoy the family. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so that's all I have. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to click the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I really would appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next one.